Hello everybody, this is part 3 of Microsoft PowerPoint presentation tutorial and in this one we're going to go over custom animation and some other little nifty gadgets PowerPoint. We're going to first of all go to slide custom animation, there we go. I prefer custom animation, you can do a lot more with it and it looks better. Uh, but if you're if you don't have much time just do a uh, slide design animation scheme which that will automatically do it and uh, okay so first things first let's have a little right here is where you press for adding effects go ahead and press, press there you can do entrance emphasis and exit we're going to go over these three I'm not going to I might go over motion I don't know it depends what kind of time I've got so first of all entrance let's have a fly in and we're going to start with previous there's three different ones. There's start on click, which that's pressing space bar or clicking your mouse or whatever. Start with previous. So when you click your space bar, then it'll have the one that has start on click come up, and then in this all this one will also come up with that. And start after previous. This one will all come up after the one that you've pressed start on click with. It'll come up uh, after that one's completely done, and not when that you click. So we'll have that fly in, and very fast. You choose your speed here from bottom. I don't want bottom. I'm gonna have it come down from the slide side. There we go. And then this one right here is gonna go ahead and fade it in. So add an effect, entrance, and we're gonna go fade. You can go more effects here to get different things. You got your basics, um, subtool, stuff like that, moderate. Exciting! I'm gonna go use fade here, and then by pressing play here, you can watch the whole thing come up. And right up over on this side is a uh, basically how fast it's coming up and stuff. Which I'm gonna go ahead and have this. Uh, how's it going? I'm gonna have that one come up automatically after sub meg is completely done coming up. But I don't want it to come up immediately. Here's what it'll look like. Well, that doesn't look too bad. But what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to press on this. I'm going to have it come in. Yeah, medium. Then I'm going to right click this. I'm going to have timing. So I can change. I'm going to let delay two seconds. There's different effects. Sound, after animation, animation text. Uh, you, there's different things. I'll talk about that maybe later. Okay, so we've got it coming. Waiting two seconds. And how's it going? Okay. So that's how to do timing on them. So now we'll go to the next slide. Actually, no, we're going to go. Yeah, we're going to go to the next slide. We're going to select these, add effect, entrance. Um, actually, no, I'm going to go back to the first slide again. Now I'm going to select both of these. Actually, I'm going to select this one first. Then I'm going to have add an effect. I'm going to add an exit. No, actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to add an emphasis. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and grow slash shrink, and so this text, these texts are going to get bigger, and you can choose your size right here. You can make it smaller, larger, huge, whatever. And oops. and then right here you can choose how fast it changes. So I'm going to have that change, and then I'm going to. So uh, actually, what I'm going to do after the on this one also, I'm going to do start with previous. I'm going to do timing again. I'm just going to do one second. Okay. With that timing, you can basically make your PowerPoint completely automated. So you just start it up and it keeps going and going and going and going and going. And, but that you don't want to use for a uh, presentation. Like if I were to stand up in front of a class, you wouldn't want to use it, but you can use it in other uh, ways. Um, now that that's waiting two seconds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select this, we're going to add an exit, and we're going to checkerboard. No, actually we're not going to add, um, yeah, we're, no, no, we're not going to add an exit. So delete this, right click, remove. Okay. So then we're going to go to the next slide, and do the same entrance stuff. Entrance, we're going to box in. For these. You can do each one of these individually, then when you press your space bar, then it will uh, go ahead and uh, 
and then they'll come up but I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, entrance I'm just gonna do them all at once so we're gonna go stretch but actually um, okay for the first one we're gonna go start after previous so it comes up when your slide changes and actually with this let's go ahead and do every click so instead of having it on start with previous which that's what it goes into default since you select them all then just do on click and they'll come up every time you click we'll go to the next one uh, pick and an entrance more effects and go to an exciting one so boomerang sounds sweet okay and we're gonna select all these again no, actually we're gonna have a picture coming first so add an effect up and change this real quick start with previous always make sure to do that um, entrance is going to be um, let's see here yep we're gonna add an entrance here add an effect entrance uh, we're gonna say box I like box in this one works so if we're gonna have the box out you can change all the different settings here. It's very, it's really handy. That's when you press. We'll select all these. Add effect entrance. You can have a different effect for each one of these. More effects. There's one I like. And this one. And it goes really well with um, if I can find it with one of the uh, um, sound effects. Um, I can't find it, so I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna do spin wheel. It'll be pretty sweet, pretty nice. As you can see over there, yeah, you can test it like this. I'm gonna have them all coming at the same time. Okay, so that one's all done. We're gonna go into here and effect to the end. Entrance. Uh, we're gonna magnify and things. Oops, Mag. it's kind of weird. Okay, and an effect. Uh, entrance. Fly in, and we're gonna go from the top down. I've always liked sliding it down. It's pretty I just like that better. Start after previous and timing. I'm gonna do a second. Okay. And then we are going actually I'm going to uh do a little uh motion so I decided to show you real quick. Motion paths. This is just a uh, uh simple one I'm gonna do draw from curve and curve. So starting right here, curve, and curve. We'll go right back down to, we'll go right down to here. Oops, wrong one. Control Z. There we go. And this will, and then we can on that. Uh, we can go ahead and choose speed. We'll go slower because it's pretty fast when it goes. Um, we're not gonna mess with this. We're gonna have this go timing two seconds after. Okay, and we'll wait two seconds, and we'll start moving. Okay, that's pretty nice. Well, that's everything then. That's all this one will cover. And uh, thanks for watching. Come back and see the next one whenever it comes out, maybe a while. Thanks. Bye.